Hey guys, welcome back to Wondershare Recoverit, a data backup and recovery tool for Mac and Windows that works for over a thousand file formats with a whopping 95% recovery rate. Today's video is about how to recover deleted temporary files on a computer. Now, temporary files in Windows can be an absolute blessing in the events of a system malfunctioning when you're in the middle of working on something crucial. But this is where it gets tricky. If you accidentally delete temporary files, then you do potentially stand to lose a lot of precious work. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can recover deleted temporary files on your computer. But before that, let's talk about what TMP files actually means. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you can get all of this helpful information on the go. Temp files are identified by .tmp file extensions, and in Windows they're provided to help you recover unsaved changes in applications such as Excel or Word and many others. They basically contain any unsaved changes or edits that you've made to a file. Now, if you're wondering why they're called temp files, don't worry, I've got you covered. Every time you make a change to a document, that change is stored as a temp file. When you save a document as a completed file, then all of the temporary files get deleted. So let's say that you're working on an important presentation for your office and then halfway through the software crashes or your system shuts down before you've had a chance to save the file yourself. It will still be stored on your computer as a temporary file. Now, where can you find these temp files? Well, there's two locations where they're stored either system drive slash windows slash temp or user profile slash app data slash local slash temp. If you open your C drive and in your windows folder click on the temp folder, you will find that most of the contents within there are either .tmp, .temp or .txt file extensions. And this is where the windows operating system saves its own temporary files whereas the other location is where the temporary files of the user are saved, such as unsaved documents and presentations. Now, that's what temporary files are. Let's move ahead and talk about the process of finding and deleting temporary files from your Windows system. Temporary files sure are a blessing, but at times they can occupy a lot of space, and that space could be potentially better used for saving important documents or other files. So if you're looking at how to delete them, this is what you need to do. Firstly, open the dialog box on your PC by clicking the Windows and R buttons at the same time. Then type in the following command in that dialog box. Percentage sign, temp, percentage sign, and press enter. When you're in the folder that contains all of the temporary files, you can then select them all by pressing the Control and A key. Once you're sure that all of your important files have been saved, you can then delete the temporary files just in case Windows hasn't already cleared them for you. So earlier I mentioned how important temp files can be, and if you accidentally delete them, recovering them can be a huge task. Good thing is, I have the perfect solution for you, and I'm talking about none other than Wondershare Recoverit. So here is a step-by-step -step guide how you can recover deleted temporary files on your computer using Recoverit. Firstly, download and open Recoverit onto your PC, then select the location from where you lost the temporary files, which will usually be your C drive in Windows. Then Wondershare Recoverit will automatically begin a scan looking for lost files within that section, which includes all temporary files. Once you see the temp files that you're looking for, you can preview it to make sure that it is the correct file and then click on the recover button and recover it will restore it to the same location from where the file was lost. So that is how you can recover deleted temporary files. Now that you have your lost temp files back, here are a few tips that you can use to avoid this issue in the future. The first way to avoid the problem moving forward is simply to make sure you keep saving your files every couple of minutes. This will make sure that all of your important documents are saved as completed files on your PC so even if a system crash or malfunction happens, you don't need to rely on the temporary files. Also, keep checking your temporary files every now and again to make sure there's no important unsafe changes in there. And then you can delete them once that you're sure the important files have been saved. 
And starting from Windows 10, a new feature has been introduced called Storage Sent. Now this smartly manages your storage to make sure that you never run out of space. And it means the system can automatically delete your temporary files in case you are running out of storage. So go to Settings and search for Storage Sent. Then open it and navigate to the Temporary File section and choose Never from the two drop down boxes. So we've come to the end of today's video. We hope you got the answer to your question and that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions related to this topic, drop them in the comment section and we will try and answer them as soon as possible. Also, please like and share this video for your friends who might need it. And for further updates, don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare channel. And we'll see you in the next video.